Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of my new Rogue Tech series, Covert Ops. So this is going to be a clan start again, and I'm just doing this one. I actually had a whole nother series planned, but it's going to take time to get that going. It's not going to be like I can just jump into the game and play and release the video. It actually requires a bit more editing, a bit of finessing. Um, and that series was going to be called Infiltration. Now, I did record the first episode already. already. I just haven't got a chance to get around to editing it yet. Um, I apologize for not posting for quite some time. Uh, I've been trying to keep up with videos, but it's been difficult. A lot of stuff going on in my in my real life, kind of end of the summer stuff for kids going back to school. And uh, my one child um, is um, doing more and more demos for uh, TV and film and stuff. So um, it's my home life has been really busy but that being said I'm going to jump in and just kind of get not really a down and dirty series but just sort of uh, we're just going to start the, uh, a clan series and uh, see where it goes it's just going to be um, no real editing just the same as I was doing in the past where I just kind of record the video do a couple of missions you know cut out all the, the boring stuff in between and uh, just let you see the combat. So we're going to get right into that. It's a new version of Rogue Tech. Um, I might not be 100% up to date with the versions right now. Uh, Project B patch 3.1. So we might be a little bit behind. We will be keeping up as, as much as I can until it uh, um, the new one will break saves and then we'll just con kind of continue along where we were, depending on how well the series is going, but we'll see. All right, so we're just going to jump straight into a new game. Um, and we're going to go with five mech parks for assembly. Just leave it on standard just to see what happens. Uh, I'm going to leave friendly, friendly fire on. Just I want to see what that's like. Ooh, excuse me. Starting planet, we're going to go right to clan. Here we go. Clans, a mech recovery chance. I always put that up 10% to 60%. Um, enemy force strength, normal for now. Different contract variance, difficulty two. Um, actually, we're going to turn that up a little bit, I think, because Clan Worlds, I think, is a little harder to find um, missions for my level. So contract payment, we're going to leave it as normal. Salvage normal. Commander experience points, I always set that to 10,000 because I want the commander to have a little bit more experience than everybody else. That's just kind of the way I run. Advanced Mech Warriors, we're going to leave it as rare. Ronin, higher chance. We're going to crank this down to never. Um, don't necessarily want to make it easy. Uh, pilots per system. We're going to turn this up to seven, though. Just we have a choice of you know half decent uh, beginning pilots. Uh, Mech warrior progression. We are going to turn this down to slow, and I'll leave everything here as slow. Um, lethality. We'll leave it as normal. Mech base speed. We're going to put to normal. I'm not going to put it on hard. Armor normal. All this will be normal. Starting money. I think. I see. I don't have no idea what we're going to get into, so I'm going to put it in the middle. Going to start with that, see what happens. Um, I don't want the series to die too early on because of lack of funds, but we'll start there. Uh, total score multiplier is 0.79. I have no idea what that's going to really affect anything or not, but uh, let's get going. Yes, Commander. All right, here we go. Um, where do we come from? Well, we're from the deep for free, obviously. Um, and our family, what happened to our family? We were exiled. Orders. Gunnery and tactics bonus. All right, and then we want to take uh, frontier freelancer. Aye, aye. Get a little more tactics for our commander. Um, yeah, so let's edit name and appearance. Going to go with the AI. Uh, we're not going to be dirt nap. Uh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Sure, let's take dirt nap. Caleb Rim. <laughs> Why not? Um, <laughs> Sorry, I just find that name really funny. Uh, dirt nap. All right. What are we going to look like here? Who looks like a dirt nap here? Someone needs to be... T this guy looks like a dirt nap, but we're not going to be taking that guy, obviously. Um, that guy's a little pot too pirate for me, maybe. Um, yeah. No. Rudger Hauer, maybe. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that he passed away. Um... That would just be cruel to take him as dirt nap. Uh, what else? Um, we could go with the Punisher. Ah. Huh. Dirt nap, dirt nap. Do we just take the standard face that we always take? Maybe. Yeah, let's just go this route. Sure. 
Yeah, what clo what kind of cl color clothing we want here? Sure, let's go red. And that's a little more dramatic. Camera angle, I always like it here. And let's just leave it like that. Sure. Looks good to me. All right, Dirt Nap, let's do this. Welcome, Commander. All right, let's move into battle. War is business, and business is hell. All right. Let's get started like we normally do. First of all, <laughs> we want to... Let's just go right to the mech base. Let's find out what kind of mechs we got here. All right. We got an Adder C. Ah, looks like it's got some advanced fire control systems here. I like how they've colored everything. LRM-15. LRM-15, medium pulse. So just the one medium pulse. Looks like it. Narc launcher. Seems kind of weird to put a narc launcher on an LRM unit. Like, you got to be in close to use this thing. I know the LRMs don't have a, a range uh, minimum, but still, like, it's got a flamer built in. Okay. And mislinks. What else do we got on this guy? ER large, ER medium, Guardian, bunch of jump jets. Okay, not bad. Kit Fox B. We've got uh, ER small, ER medium, Ultra 10, eh? Ooh, okay. Uh, Incubus. Large Pulse, ER Medium, ER Medium, a couple of machine guns, and a Stinger. Alright. Uh, magna Laser, two Magnas, three Magnas. Okay, Royal Heat Sink Kit. Small Laser. Alright, not too bad. Could be a lot worse, I think. 135, a pair of 30s, and a 25, and a 20. Alright. Uh, let's go down to here. And we're going to take a look at our company. And we're just going to rename us here. We're going to, just going to call us Covert Ops, because why not? All right. And what else do we got here? What looks like a Covert Ops? I should really uh, just create my own at some point. Uh... Got to choose something interesting here. I was going to do the series Suicidal Samurai. I was going to use this one, but uh, I decided against that. Uh, what else do we got down here? Come on, give me something good. What's this? Yeah, let's go with that one for now. And then let's change our colors. I'm going to go with something dark, I think, this time. So let's shift this along. Let's go black legs. Let's go dark gray. And then this for the accent. Let's go with a red. Red or orange? Orange, maybe? Let's just try the orange. Save that, and we can go check out our mech. So the the new version here, I played around it a little, little bit, like I said. Um, so you can now click and shift your mech around, which is awesome. You can actually check out what it looks like front and back with the camo patterns, which I think is just absolutely brilliant. Uh, very well done. So we can check out what we got here for our color scheme. I think we're going to, I mean, it works well It works well with this here. So we're going to leave it. I don't think I'll change any of the, uh, yeah, that guy looks kind of cool too. I'm not going to change any color schemes on these guys. We'll leave it just as it is for now. But yeah, that's, that's really cool. Being able to move these guys around the bay is like just brilliant. All right, uh, now let's go to the barracks. Let's have a look at our mech warriors. And we're only going to keep a few, I think. Um, okay, can we get a witness? Uh, 36,000 a month, 36, 36, 36, God, you guys are so expen expensive, 33, ah, free for dirt nap, buckshot, 33, 
31 2. God, they're so expensive. Why? I'm here. I'm receiving you. Yeah, let's get rid of Falcon. Good to go. 36. Sorry, witness. Just trying to Good. save some catch here. 36 gone. Cracking 36. Okay, goodbye. So it looks like we got her here. Area Mackey. Good to go. Buckshot. Standing by. Standing by. And Dragon 66. All right, looks like that's what we're going to start with. Now, normally I would flush all these guys out and then just go to uh, the hiring hall and hire some new pilots. Uh, let's just see who's here first before we uh, decide that's what we're going to do. Because um, they've redone some of the, the skills here as well. So, decreased XP cost for leveling tactics. That's kind of cool. Increased XP cost for leveling guts. So, you would, you would hire a pilot like this if you want to have them as the... Um, uh, as your tactics guy, like your spotter. Um, you. That's just nobody. Yeah. Listed. Recruit. Bookish. Increased the tactics again. Small bonus for starting XP. A little bit of high, higher... Uh, base salary so cautious pilot has plus two defense but also suffers minus one accuracy so they've done a good job in um, working on these two which I think is really great uh, but we're gonna leave these pilots for now we're gonna stay with the ones we have so let's go to the mech warriors we're gonna assign our points here and who do we want is what here so buckshot yes, commander. sounds to me like somebody who would be running the uh, Let's go four across the board. I want to just kind of get a base level for everybody to start. Uh, getting the plus one health, the unsteady threshold, uh, or minus the hesitation, things like that I think are important to start. So let's confirm that. But I think she's going to be running the Ultra 10, most likely. Ariamaki and Dragon 66. Once again, let's just go across the board if we, he's not gonna, doesn't have enough. So what's more important, health or reduced hesitation? Uh, this gets us back recovered quicker between missions, so let's go that route. Area Mackey, you do the same thing. Oh, he's only got 3,000 XP, really. Well, that's it for just going to go gunnery. Training complete. Looks like he's the novice of the group and our commander. So we're going to go along this route, like I said, and then I think we're going to take... Um, Ace pilot to start. I think having the ability to uh, shoot and then move is going to be important. So let's go that route. Mech warrior training complete. All right, let's uh, jump into something here. So I don't think we need to do. Oh, uh, engineering ship upgrades. Let's get right on that to start. So right again, right away, we're going to get into power systems. Just get that up. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew. That way we can get our second mech bay up or training module up, things like that. So. We'll go ahead and get that system running. And let's have a look here. Now we are, let's have a look at the map. Um, so my other series was going to be far less star map dependent, much more story driven. So I wasn't going to really be paying too much attention to the star map. So who do we got here? Clan Wolf, eh? Once again, is Falcon making its way down? Is this Falcon? It is. So they're making their way to the inner sphere. We got, looks like we got a leapfrog here. We've got uh, Snow Raven. Looks like they've already made their way to the inner sphere. All the way down. That's oh, Ghost Bear. Okay. Anybody else here? Burak, eh? Oh, interesting. Burak and Falcon have made their way down. Yeah, there was a discussion as to whether they should make these lanes a little thicker. It looks like they have done that. They've added. looks like they've added a few more planets here to give the clans a better way to get actually get into the inner sphere by leapfrogging and stuff so it gives them a chance i think they should just create another route you know make it make a little maybe a little bit more long and twisting but maybe another route in here but uh you know i don't really know what um how much uh what do you call it um how many different clans are active for this one so that's interesting Okay, so let's start off. We are here. 
what's this planet now we took um, the uh, difficulty by planet level so we're gonna have to be careful of the planets run so stranometry so we should be able to do up to two and a half skulls here I think we took the four difficulty rating so yeah two and a half skulls so let's see uh, that's gonna be way too much for us I think at this level um, let's have a look here at the contracts we may have to jump real quick which I think we'll do oh settling a grudge that's a yeah we had to jump yeah so there's nothing here we can really do to start um, although I think it still suffers from the same bug where they don't all show up the first time yeah no biggie but we're gonna have to find a planet now we can actually take some missions on so let's go do that star map so I am really excited for this uh, new series uh, my infiltration series this one like I said I want to just get kind of get going on it um, just to give you guys some content Marshall 19 days okay what's this that's no not going there how close is this 24 days it's two skull though one and a half let's jump over to Marshall it's 19 I think um, can't I think is it F is it F2 no oh yeah there we go so F2 um, will show you the planet difficulty level based on the planet size so this is obviously like a one skull or half skull planet 20 days away that's a little further I think 33 um, this little dude here which we can't now get into come on just a little sluggish there 20 days um, if we're gonna do it let's just go here to start Hellgate I know it's clan wolf we haven't we haven't allied ourselves on anybody yet so let's just jump over here and actually you know what is that a uh, sorry this is a rocky world and this is a ice world you know what since we don't really know how well we're going to do heat wise let's jump over here to the ice world it'll give us a bit of an advantage to start so on the way there I'm going to do this the classical thing that I normally do with the, the starting up I, I think I'm going to avoid the stripping my mechs and adding armor and all that to start uh, we're just going to go in with the with the standard mechs as they are just want to see how they perform now I know we need more armor not to work if I may say so but I want to wait till after the first battle I think just to see here so let's go to ship upgrades and we're gonna get our second mech bay up and running as fast as we can so let's do this one all right I'll get the team on it right away thank you get that going please so for me it's usually getting that second mech bay up and running and then getting that first um, training module up and running I find it's really really important to get that training module up within the first 30 or so days because uh, you know over time that, that that plus you know 20 or 30 experience points adds up to a whole heck of a lot so what do we got here cooling pods endo steel gunnery support B what does this do plus one gunnery allows exceeding maximum skill level life support B interesting heat bank I don't know what all this stuff does now they've changed a lot of it so this looks maximum heat multiplier overheat threshold multiplier minus heat per turn double heat sink kit void system so that looks about the same um, this looks good although I don't want to spend any C bills right yet okay well let's just jump into a battle let's find out what we got here pray for something good all right doesn't look like we're gonna get anything good let's just quickly go back and forth here all right come on low level there we go drop interception local pirates okay intercepting a pirate lance we can do that sure and we're gonna go full salvage because we need salvage 
We need salvage. Now, we're going to be paying for salvage. Oh! We can drop an extra lance? Yes, please. Although, I don't think we're going to need it for this one. Let's go this route. Uh, Dirt Nap's going to be running the adder. Uh, Kit Fox has got what? What do we have on the Kit Fox? Um... Was that the Ultra? It was. So Buckshot's going in the Ultra. The Incubus. Let's throw Dragon in there and Aramaki in the end. So the Incubus. i got to remember what these things have. Large Pulse, ER Mediums, Machine Guns. And the Miss Lynx was the ECM Suite. So he's the support guy. Let's get him. Large Laser, Medium. Let's get him in the middle of everybody. Now is this... Okay, Clan XL. Okay, good. Let's deploy. Oh, we start off in a city. I didn't even look at that. That's cool. So this is it, finally. Huh? Enemy dropship landed in somewhere in the area. Acquire their location and engage them. Let's put a stop to this raid, eh? Civilization. Finally. Oh my god, this looks so good. Can we squash cars? Um, why is there... So is this a two lance mission? And we could have deployed more of our own guys? Or... Because it looks like they've got two, four, five guys here. One. Let's... Wait, what? Why am I marked as both Wolf and my... Okay. So I'm going to have to spend some time reading up on... Uh, Ready for orders. All the nuances of this game now. So that is... Green says it's cover, but what kind of cover are we looking at here? Oh, forest. Okay. And they're over there, eh? So we got four machine guns, large pulse, and two ER mediums. Let's move up a little bit. Cool. All right. Um, let's brace there, please. Waiting for orders. Okay, you're my ECM, dude. Looks like you're jumping, buddy, because I put you in a spot where you really can't go anywhere but jump, eh? Let's get over here. Laser AMS, too, eh? Up high. Up high. Down low. Too slow. All right. Are they guarding our base? Maybe they are. I still don't know all the game modes. Uh, you know what I might do? Uh, if I get time tomorrow at lunch, so I might get in and read a little more about the new updates. Because I, this, like I said, this is the first time I've really been playing. I recorded one episode already of Infiltration, but it was on a desert planet, so, uh, you know, I didn't get any, um, I didn't get anything that was, uh, um, in the city. It was just like the standard desert map fighting. I gotta say though, it was a tough battle. I started off with a one and a half skull mission and it was, I gotta say, uh, it was a tough battle. Hey. Really enjoyable, but tough. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna get time to uh, read up on this tomorrow. I've been working on so many TV spots lately. It's ridiculous. I did like um, 12 um, uh, TV spots for a web for um, uh, a major uh, sporting uh, chain. And then I did a couple of uh, spots for a major restaurant chain. Been like ridiculously busy lately. 
That's not not including all the other corporate work and stuff I have to do all the time. Let's get you jumping again, because we can. Just don't become too unstable. Dirt nap, you're slow as hell. But, you know, you are supposed to be the fire support. So I think I want to try and switch some of these weapons around. I mean, if this guy's going to... Uh, the narc launcher is nice, but I don't think it should be on this mech. They're a good distance away, huh? Standing by. On it. The city destruction is real. I'm hoping these people left the cars and just took off. How's it going? It's going pretty damn good, man. Get your ass up there. Moving out. So this mislinks, I think we, because um, he's got the ECM on him, he's now protecting this guy. We should uh, maybe put the narc launcher on him, pull the ER large off, and see if we can equip the adder with the ER large. So Dirt and Apple will be running the uh, couple of LRMs and the ER large laser at a range. Maybe we take the medium pulse off as well. Put it on one of our closer guys. Yeah, crush them cars. What? No. Get that big Ultra 10 up here, please. Okay. Let's go. Yep, you can destroy everything. That's awesome. I just got to keep in mind that we can't be in the line of sight of these guys behind us. So we have to, like... Also, staying clumped up is going to be bad, too, if the, uh, the fire can hit other mechs. So we need to spread out. We need to make sure we're not in each other's firing range. Or firing lines, that is. Look at this city, though. Look at this. Okay. Hey. Hey. Let's get up like that. Affirmative. Just in case we spot somebody here. No? Receiving you. Normally I'm a lot faster player than this, but since I really don't know... Got laneways down there. Alright, let's come down this way. I don't know... Um, what to expect here. I want to make sure I'm braced on every turn. Look at this car is getting destroyed. Okay, bring a fire support up. Yeah, that narc beacon's gotta get off this guy. Yeah, you turn around and get the hell out of here. What? The, what where are you going? Where? Commander. Good thing we can rely on our wolf allies, eh? Yeah, I think this guy, if he's gonna be a close-up mech. Okay, he's got the ECM protection on this guy, which is nice. Turning around, huh? Just keep turning back and forth, guys. Standing by. All right, let's go see if we can see anything up here. Confirmed. Bandits. All right, what do we got? Phoenix Hawk. 45 tonner at one at uh, one skull, eh? What's the oh, that's just a uh, fake ass mech. What is what the hell is that? Oh, it's a uh, it's an urban mech hologram. Okay. Yes, boss. I need you to get up there, man. You see him protect that guy. He got the large laser too.
We need to get the Ultra 10 on this Phoenix Hawk. Ripper, huh? Looks like a vehicle. Alright. Um, let's get up here. I don't even know. I have any idea what our heat sinking is going to be like either. I, normally I check all that before I start, but I got kind of excited. So, All right, Phoenix Hawk. We got, looks like we're hitting a side shot here, which is good. 13%. We're going to take it. We got the ammo. Yeah, I like how they did this as well. That's kind of cool. We know that these are uh, melee, but energy ballistic. Oh, that's like a boomstick or something. Some kind of crazy point blank. 640 armor, not bad, but let's drop some missiles on this guy's ass. Okay, someone's got an AMS. Something's right there too. Scorpion. Okay. I'm here. Let's get that Ultra 10 up here, please, as fast as we can. I want to shred this Phoenix Hawk if we can do that. The next turn. Going as fast as I can. So I'm not going to speed up any of this uh, mech stuff because if you guys haven't played this yet, I want you to kind of get a good view of it. Uh, plus, I want to see the city as well. When we get later in the series, I might speed up the combat a bit, but right now I think it's uh, pretty cool. And what's the odds of us getting a, ci a city mission to start? Like, that's just awesome. We can't get a target on that guy at all? From up here we can, eh? So we're going to just reserve then, I think. See what they do. Besides having our allies not help us in any kind of way. Oh, it's a helicopter. Yeah, man. Uh, it's a helicopter. That's awesome. It's so awesome. Now I got a question. So apparently if you have a mech on a building and the building collapses, the mech falls and takes falling damage. But if a helicopter is on a building and the building collapses, does the helicopter take fall damage? I mean, technically it shouldn't. It's a helicopter. But that's an interesting thing to find that out sooner or later. Um, what do we want to do here? Okay, our edge of the map is there. So here's the thing. I don't know. I want to target that Ripper, I think. I don't know if... Look at that crush. <laughs> if indirect, if it's just going to fire over or hit any of my guys. How are we doing heat-wise? Pretty good. Let's fire everything. Okay, well, it didn't hit my guys. Hit the building, though. Target building destroyed. What? I thought I was targeting the helicopter. What now? Let's target something that's, you know... I guess the helicopter's there. hidden. Okay. Hidden well. Sixteen rounds with the Ultra ER Medium. Firing. So they reduced the damage for the, uh... Medium lasers, which is interesting. So now we can get targets on them. We couldn't get them before. Let's get some speed up. Maybe we just couldn't get a good visualization on them. Alright, firing. Nice. Yeah, so the ER mediums are down to 20 damage each now. We get a shot on them. We can from here. Let's do that. Got it. Let's get your ECM on these two guys over here. They need it more than I do. Let's hope we hit with the ER large firing. Copy that. Nope. Missed. Scorpion SRM. Let's do this. Let's do this.
Oh, we can get a shot in the helicopter from up here. It's our chance to hit this thing. Not the building. Not the building, the helicopter. How do we know what we're targeting here? Firing jump jets. Okay, I want to shoot this guy. How do we target him now? Um. Okay. There we go. Just hit the tab. Wow, that bad a chance to hit, eh? Well, he is small and far distance away. Okay. That's a miss. Yeah, well, we didn't expect much out of that. You are a good distance away, and... Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Okay, good. <laughs> It paused there for a second. I thought it was going to crash. Oh, we lost contact with these guys, though. Hey. Hey. What kind of armor do you have? 313, eh? Doesn't seem like a whole heck of a lot. Let's reserve. See if we get anybody moving up on us here. Wow, you destroyed the car and you went around the cab? Really? Sorry, I'm not, not that I have anything against cab drivers. It's <laughs> just that it's like, usually it's the cabs that get destroyed. Falcon. Okay, you stay back there, buddy. He's probably the commander. Just saying. Oh, we got another mech over there. Looks like a Centurion. Sure is. Okay, let's get over here. I'm going to tab around to see what we got here. So that's the helicopter at 22%. Phoenix Hawk 9. Let's go for the helicopter, I guess. Engaging target. Doing a bit of damage to the building. What now? What now? There's a scorpion over here somewhere too, but I'm going to leave that for the wolf. The wolf lunkies there. Can we get over to get this Phoenix Hawk? Let's sprint into down here. Can you get behind the building? I want this Phoenix Hawk to make a play first before we move out with the Ultra 10. Ready for orders. Same thing with the Dragon. Let's get over here. Position confirmed. I want to play any games with these guys. So let that Phoenix Hawk come out. We need to get off this building too. Standing by. Let's get off this building if we can, please. Can we get an eye on anybody? I want to come down here in the woods. We can't really shoot anybody like oh well, we can shoot him. We could pull back and shoot, but we're not going to have a very good chance to hit. Let's just stay here. Just going to brace. Got our guys in ECM range. It's going to help out a little bit. Standing by. Uh, we're going to reserve this, I think. I want to see what that uh, Shadowhawk's going to do. If we can pull him out quick, that would be nice. 
kind of in a position to do that. So if these early matches start to play out slow like this, we might only do one mission per uh, game or per episode. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, I, I kind of like this play. Uh, he's just going to sit there, is he? Okay, well, I'm going to move in here then. And we're going to tab around. That's the Ripper. How much is he? He's got, like, not very much left on the top. 25. Let's go after him. If we can take him out. Did we get him? No. Maybe? He disappeared. No. He's still there. Any of you guys have missiles? Looks like the, oh, the Locust has got lasers or machine guns. Here comes that Ripper. I'm here. Let's reserve. The Phoenix Hawk didn't do anything, but I want to see what this tank does. Sure. I love her back talk. It's so good. Alright. Ready for orders. Um Gonna move you into here. No! Where are we gonna get shawarma after the battle? Alright, we're gonna shoot this helicopter. And firing. Wow! Dude, seriously? That was a huge miss! Huge! That was huge! All right, we're going to go Vigilance on this one. I definitely want you to be going before this Phoenix Hawk if we can. Can we get in right on this guy? We can. Let's do it. Let's keep oh our back boy. to the uh, building. Go. All right, let's hammer this guy. Good chances to hit, firing everything. Standing by. Okay, dragon. To position. Stay in the woods. Target this guy, please. Hammer him. Ooh, good, good chance for a large pulse here. Machine guns are at 50. What if we turn off one of the ER mediums? Let's do that. Well, ER mediums are doing 12. Turn off two machine guns. Roger. Handful of hits. Okay. Oh, finally, you decided to join us, did you? Yes, Commander. Yeah, I don't quite have the uh, range for this, do you? Okay, let's get over here. Let's move. I want some ECM on the R2 guys over here. And I think we want to try and target this helicopter. Yeah, that's fire. Nope. Shooting up them buildings real good, though. What now? Forty-three percent with the Ultra Ten, really? Advancing, I guess. Not really advancing, but whatever. Alright, hammer him again. Okay, destroyed his upper arm. He didn't expect that. 
Ha, glad of you guys, you can finally show up. Just want to make sure we're out of range because I'm going to drop some LRMs on that guy. All right, is this the Phoenix Hawk movement? Nope. Helicopter's got a flamer? Really? I think they got to change that because if you think, if, I, mean, if, I guess if it's in the side door, maybe, but. The last thing you want to be doing is flying fast and then trying to shoot some kind of liquid fuel at somebody. It'll just blow back in your face. Uh, let's try and get to where we can't be seen by these other guys. Let's get over here. The one good thing about this map is there's plenty of cover. And let's drop some LRMs on this guy. Eh. He's got a lot of damage reduction, not much I can do about it, but he's gonna melee. 35, huh? I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, you're not. Gonna have to burrow this guy, I think. The Centurion hasn't gone yet, has he? I don't think so. Oh, okay, it's the Scorpion moving in. Well, thanks for showing up. Okay, my LRMs are useless now on that, that uh, Phoenix Hawk. Because I'll hit my own guys if I'm not careful. So we're going to go back on the helicopter see if we can take... Well, maybe the, uh, the wolf guys will take them out. Centurion. That didn't sound good. <laughs> that didn't I'm sound holding. good. That did not sound good. Don't stand there. I think he's got a like an Ultra 10 or just a AC. It's a pirate. Could be an AC 10. Do I want to um. See now, I wish I took multi-target. Move here. Okay, now the question is, when the helicopter doesn't seem to be a threat. If I try to shoot this guy, I could miss, hit my own guys. I'm talking with the pulse laser. So I think, I mean, these two are clutch. I don't know. Let's see if we can take the helicopter out. Why not? We should get more pay if we're taking out more vehicles, but whatever. Come on. Did we get him? Enemy unit destroyed. Yay! First kill is the helicopter. Ten tons. Oh, now you're leaving? Where's that guy? What's that guy doing now? Come on, guys. We got a centurion over here. Show up and fight for crying out loud. Oh, they're weak in armor too, so. I wonder if we should just backstab this uh Phoenix Hawk. He just f he just fortified. You know there's a Centurion there, right? I don't know what they're doing. Receiving you. Now, if our mech is out of the firing arc, technically, I say technically, we shouldn't hit it. But just in case, we're going to leave the machine guns off. Ooh, we're really overheating. Putting one in the back. Oh, good shooting. Burn a hole in his ass, too. Okay, we got a penetration in the CT. Get your asteroid in these trees, buddy. God, what's your chance to hit? 63. That doesn't seem like a good chance to hit to me. 
56. I'm going to get on this side. I'm really hoping we don't hit the... Uh, I want to see if we can pull an arm off him. I don't want to I don't want to hit my own guy here. Okay. Oh, he's panicking now. Yeah, what do you get the Ultra 10 in the back? See how much you panic then. We could kill him if we double hit his CT. Centurion. Okay, he's firing on those guys. Now, do we lose... I guess it, we don't lose any points if those guys die. It just says destroy enemy units, so... Standing by. Why don't you just come around here? I'm there. You're worried about dying? Just kill this guy. You won't have to worry about it. Alright, we're overheating. SRM-6 can come off. And... Because he's got AMS anyway. Fire the rest. Lucky new target. See ya. You got that right. You got that right. Alright, Centurion's the next target. We should be able to flank him now and get a back attack on him. We're in good position. I'm going to let the uh, Clanners draw fire on him. Or Clan Wolf, that is. Why is it our guys are idiots? Their guys kind of turn and move and like stick and jab and get into position and our guys just kind of stand there and just take it. How much armor do we have on the side here? 40. If we take an AC. Oh, we should be. I think we should be okay. I'm just worried if we take an AC hit, it'll be bad, but I want to hammer this guy a bit. If we can, not a good chance to hit, but we'll take it. Yeah, first thing we do is to get rid of these LRMs, I think. Standing by. Now, do we want to go back shot? I think we want to go back shots. We got to move if we're going to do it. All right, let's get around to here. Confirmed. Make sure we're staying in the green. Give it a little bit of ablat of armor. Wow, really bad chance to hit, eh? Let's just go with the pulse, save a bit of heat so we can go alpha strike next time. Got it. Hey, right, found he's showing up for the battle, eh? Confirmed. Same idea. Back shot. We're saving the spot in front for uh, our other mech here. Uh, let's lose a bit of heat so we can alpha strike. Here we go. For a couple of turns. All right. Yes, commander. Okay, I need you up here. Moving full speed. Wow. You know what? Yeah, we might as well shoot something. Rear armor. Should've known I'd miss. Yeah, should have known it. It's gonna keep his back to us, so that's good. Well, good thing it wasn't my mech. And that's all I got to say about that. You're just going to run over cars and stand there, are you? Thanks for showing up. The 2C Cicada, I think that isn't that one with all the machine guns? Receiving you.
God, such bad chances to hit. If we can't take him down, I, I, I don't want to move out in the open like this. Like, we'd have to get lucky to take him down. Uh, let's see if we can take this vehicle out. Let's move. Okay, that's better. How much can we fire up here? Sure. Or we could just obliterate that building. That would give us a clearer shot next turn. That works. How's it going? It was going good. We obliterated that building, but whatever. This should make us hard to hit. Jumping. Should. Whether it does or not, I don't know. Going with two. Locked on target. Thanks for showing up. Uh, I'm not going to take this guy on direct. Taking that Centurion on direct fire with this guy is a bad idea. Drop some LRMs on him. Okay, a little bit of damage, not bad. Right here. Wait, you can actually step on that vehicle? Yeah. Yeah, but you're opening your back up to attack, and I don't want that. I'll try. Okay, in the ECM protection range. Um, that warrants firing this up, I think. And the SRM-6. Get as many hits as we can. Okay, not bad. I'm not worried about these guys. <laughs> I'm really not. Let's see what they do. He's going on 12. He's probably going to try and finish that Locust up. I mean, really, it's his best move. Well, his best move is taking out the Stinger, but... Well, Locust is still alive. Where can I get me a Dancing Irby? Gotta get a Dancing Irby. It's too bad you can't actually have a base in this game. One of the kind of cool things of actually building a company is developing your own base on some planet. Ooh, yeah man. Got a head, head hit on him though. Yeah, keep hitting them, guys. Soften them up so we can kill them. Um, Ready for orders. Let's get in the trees. See, these machine guns are excessive because they do eight. There's like eight heat. Eight heat per machine gun. Alright, let's see what, how many hits we can get on this guy here. Well, yeah, let's go this route. Firing. For the like, minor damage that a machine gun does, it doesn't warrant the 8 heat.
I mean, it's super light, don't get me wrong, but still. Can we get a clear view of this guy's backside? Oh. Full throttle. Let's get some speed going. How many chevrons can we get here? Four, probably? Yep. Okay. Sorry, guys, but uh, missile's coming. That's a side attack, huh? Putting one in the back. Nice. Penned. What was that? Where did he shoot? Was it this guy? Oh, PBC Fion. Yes, Commander. Roger that. Come on, girl. Pen that backside. Affirm. Oh, nice shooting. What is that guy doing? Come on, shoot somebody. At least they're providing targets. That's the one thing I will say. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I tried to save you, but your allies didn't help. Come on, I'm trying to see what's got this guy's going got going on here. Indicator shows minimal damage. I don't know. I saw some sparks coming off you there. Well, at least it wasn't me he was shooting at. Just gonna turn your back to that Centurion, huh? And you're just gonna turn your back to the Centurion, huh? Sure. Because that sounds like a really good plan. Come on, guys. What are you doing? <sighs> yes, boss. Okay, let's get you back here. Moving to position. Let's get stabilized. Confirmed. Nicely done. One for the scrap heap. They're just turning their back to the all of them turn their back to the centurion. Standing by. It's like, hey, kill me, guy. On it. So this incubus is super heated. We're gonna pull the machine guns off this thing probably and just uh Drop some more armor on it. Like, it's just... The, the heat's ridiculous on this thing. Look at this. Alright, fire on these. Take that. I'm not even considering uh, doing called shots at this point. I mean, I like to leg this guy to get as much stuff off him as we can, but... No point. Um, gonna vigilance this. Because I want to go before him. I'm gonna shoot and then move away. Next turn. Hopefully if I go before him. We'll see. 
All right, fire at everything. Standing by. Buckshot's gonna vigilance. Affirmative. Ah, uh, ultra's jammed. Damn it. Fire what we have. Affirmative. Oh, you're finally showing up for the fight, eh? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Just maybe not. Okay, fire it again. Well, we certainly are stripping his armor. This is why I think fire maneuver is going to be better than multi-target, especially in a city situation. I'm still going to go multi-target with my secondary choice, I think, but as my primary choices right now, it's it's always going to be uh, fire maneuver. Receiving you. Mech is on fire, which is the worst thing for this guy. Ooh, a little hot. Fire the large pulse. Locking on Best chance to hit. Well, oh, he bailed. <gasps> Beautiful. Mission successful. There we go. Okay, well, we lost a little bit in the payout, but no big deal. We got a few sea bills on us. Took a little bit of damage in the kit fox here. Penetrated the internals, but we're okay. I don't think we lost anything, did we? No, we're good. All right, so that's all right. Uh, where's our next button? It's up here now. So it's nice that we can deploy two lances there. Okay, Centurion parts, Phoenix Hawk parts, AC-10 Pirate, Pirate Medium Lasers, Machine Gun 2, Basic cockpit. Does this actually... I don't think it's going to provide us anything. Uh, internal combustion st standard. Prototype double heat sinks. Radical prototype double heat sink kit. Minus 15% weapon heat generated. Minus 10 heat per turn. Activates when above 80% heat. Deactivates when below 20% heat. Minus 30 heat per turn when active. Minus 15% weapon heat generated when active. 30 maximum mode. This is, looks pretty damn cool. Oh, if we... Um, you know what? Let's take this. Let's just see what else we got here first. Yeah, so let's take this and these guys. That looks pretty darn cool. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. And let's see what else we get. Okay, one, two, three, four Centurion parts. Ooh, nice. Couple of Phoenix Hawk parts. Engine core. End of steel. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. We only took a little bit of damage. I really love that city, I gotta say. Uh, it looked fantastic. Um, yeah, that was actually pretty cool, I gotta say. Um, let's have a look at the mech base here. So I think what we'll do, what I might do between episodes is maybe we pull the Stinger out of service for now. Because it's got a bunch of jump jets we could be using. And I think we probably want to use those. Um, I don't think it really has any, it's got a small and a couple magna lasers. I don't know, maybe we leave it in rotation for now just in case we need it. Um, but yeah, I think I want to reorganize the gear on this stuff. I was really hoping to get more weapons on this battle, but uh, didn't quite work out. But I think what we'll do is we'll reallocate some of the gear to different mechs. The adder can definitely be, because it's got it's a 35 tonner, it can definitely um, have a bit more weapons on it, I think. Um, 
Maybe we apply a few more heat sinks. That prototype double heat sink kit, maybe we drop that into a stinger, maybe? I uh, know, because it's already got the royal heat. Maybe we drop it into something that's not going to be so hot. Or that will run. Maybe we drop it into the... Maybe we leave the incubus as it is and just drop it in there and see how it works out. That large pulse is generating a lot of heat. The LRMs, I think, might we, we might just drop them on the mislinks. Because it's our ECM mech. It can stand behind stuff and cover us with ECM while firing indirectly. We pull the ER large and medium off. We drop them on the adder, probably. Kit Fox, I think, worked out pretty well with the Ultra 10. I think it's it's okay. SRM 6, I don't know. It was okay, but, you know, you get uh, AMS, and they're pretty much useless. They're going to shoot most of them down, I think. So... But yeah, I'm going to leave it there for the first episode, guys. I don't really have much time tonight to, to do another mission. Um, I have no idea how long it's going to take. But uh, that's the first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any suggestions for this series, please feel free to fire them off. Like I said, this is just going to be a fly by the seat of my pants kind of thing. So if you got any suggestions, please throw them up and we'll see what we can do in getting them done. Um, yeah, hope you like what you see. Until next time, we'll see you all later.